deets are out. The deets are out. <laughs> <laughs> What's, up, guys? What's up guys? We are back and uh, we're gonna tell you guys how we met and give you all the juicy deets. Yeah, we got the tea, we're ready to spill it. Alright, so are we just gonna start this thing? Very, very, very beginning. Very beginning. Because technically we kind of first met each other twice. I know that doesn't make any sense, but we did. Yeah. So, okay, let's start with the first time. My friend and I, we were going to go to a Steve I Aoki concert. She had told me that we were going to be able to get backstage. And I was like, how are you able to pull that off? I was like, there's just no way. And she's like, I know a guy. I was like, okay. I was rolling with it. So when we get to the concert, we did get backstage. Because of this guy. I didn't really know the person that messaged me about it. So I used to DJ a lot at different nightclubs. On my Facebook, I got a message from just somebody that I knew from uh, DJing at a local lounge. We're at this concert, can you get us backstage? And I didn't really think it was a big deal at all. So I went up to one of the security guards and I was like, you know, how am I able to just get somebody back here? He, he was asking how many people. And so I responded back, she said, it's me and my friend. Her. So the security guard goes, yeah, just um, make sure they take care of me. Like, all right, so I messaged them. <laughs> I was like, just make sure you take care of the security guard when you go up to him. No problem, I got you. And her friend at the time walked up to the security guard and did one of like those handshakes, like, you know, leave me your hand, like, you know, like, thank you so much. And then like slid it right into his hand and he put it in his pocket. And then they go and I see her and I thought she was gorgeous, but I was so like, busy with like everything that was going on. I didn't, I, I didn't get a chance to talk with her. And five minutes later, the same security guard comes up from behind me and grabs me by the back of my neck and turns me around and goes, bro, he's <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now? What happened? And he pulls out $2, <laughs> $2 to get backstage. I honestly had zero oh. idea that was Oh happening. my gosh. I just thought we were gonna be able to get backstage without a problem. I didn't know that was happening <laughs> at all. I know, so funny. So yeah. I didn't see her again for the rest of that night. I, I didn't see her at all. But let's, when did we become Facebook friends? Cause we became Facebook friends at some point in the middle from Steve Aoki to that day. <sighs> We did, we definitely did. We gotta look that up. I'll be honest, I added you. I did, I remember adding you. Yeah, I did. Cause I remember I remember seeing you at the concert and you popped up under like Facebook somehow knows when you're near somebody I guess that you think is attractive because it just shows up on your suggested friends. But I, I saw you and I, I added you. And I wanna say this is like a month or two after we first met there. But I didn't I didn't like DM you. I didn't no, reach out didn't. or yeah. I, I remember didn't. getting a Facebook. Mm -hmm friend request because I still remember your, like your profile picture and everything. I thought you were yeah. pretty cute. You know. Thanks. <laughs> Flash forward six months now. How we actually met. Uh-huh. Camping trip. Yeah. Six months, which is what I consider the actual how we met mm -hmm. because the concert was just like so fast. It was just like, hi, how are you? That doesn't count. Okay. Anyway, so my friends and I for a number of years um, planned camping trips and it was like always different with a different group of people. And the year that we met, there was a lot of mutual friends there. Told me that there was going to be a Polish DJ, this guy. I didn't really know he was a DJ. Like I didn't know he was like a Kind of like, not like a big deal, I guess. I don't know. But, <laughs> not a big deal. But I would... <laughs> she kept saying, you know, this Polish DJ is going to be there. And I uh, didn't think anything of it. Get to the campsite. The first day, it was just a whole bunch of arriving. Um, just a casual day. We did a couple activities. Nothing crazy. The next day, though, my life changed. <laughs> Mine, too. So I guess I'll say my part of that first day. <laughs> I knew about this camping trip and her same group of friends used to hang out at that lounge that I would uh, be DJing at. Um, Which I wasn't 21 yet, that's why I wasn't part of that. Yeah, lounge. that's why I never ran into her in I that passing, she was 20. 20, yeah. He 
knew about the trip, but I was offered a gig there that Friday night that same day, so I really was not even planning on going. And then one of our friends, Miranda, um, messaged me because she was on the same ver She was like, I'm not gonna go, but if I decided I wanted to, she would do the drive. So, so I knew that she was gonna be there. So I um, talked with Miranda and she agreed to drive after my gig. So this is at, I finished at 2 a.m. Um, probably didn't leave until 2.30. The camping trip um, where we went in uh, Ascalona. Yeah, right? Ascalona. Um, we thought it was Pennsylvania, but it's actually New York for the first solid year of our relationship. Mm -hmm. Probably even up until now we say we met in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> we still, but it was oh, yes. about um, an hour and a half, two hour yeah, drive like two hours. from where we are. Yeah, I get there at around 4.30. Um, and there are still some people, yeah, 4.30 a.m. And there are still some people awake, um, trying to say hi. So, so I was like, all right, I need to get to bed because I'm going to look exhausted tomorrow. Shout out to Miranda for driving <laughs> that because if she didn't drive me, we probably would not have met. The next morning, I wake up at 7. Everybody was ready to go super early and I... Yeah, we had plans to go like rafting and just do like a whole bunch of activities so everybody was just like up we were like cooking breakfast and just kind of lounging i think i was sunbathing or yeah i also was... never had been camping <laughs> never so this is now we don't camp we don't actually camp yeah and if we do we have like a cabin it's and, like and glamping it is glamping. Yeah. hashtag glamping i woke up the next morning and I knew I looked terrible from only three hours of sleep. I knew I had bags under my eyes, and slept in a, a tent all night. Oh, it's gross. So well, that's what you do when you can't be Yeah, I tent. know, but I was just, it was, it was like hot. It was, it was mid-June, really so it was humid. Yeah. I like, pop my head out the tent, and I see Joanna laying there in a, a bathing suit, sunbathing, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, she looks so gorgeous. And I was like, I look like a Bomb. So, um, I went into the tent and I put like my sunglasses on and then I had my Griffin hat on backwards and I was like, all right, I'm gonna be the cool guy. <laughs> so I went outside, I said hi to everybody. I didn't want to go right up to her, so I like eased my way over. And I, was, I was like, uh, hey, I'm, I'm Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody there knew me as Griffin. Nobody called me Jesse there, yeah. so I just kind of introduced Griffin is his DJ. Yeah. Hey. So, introduced myself as that, and... So, I was actually a little intimidated, because I thought he, like I said, I thought he was kind of a big deal. So, I was meeting the DJ everyone was talking about. <laughs> um, also, didn't know his name was Jesse. I really thought it was Griffin. Oh, he introduced himself, and I was like, oh, hi, my name is Joanna. And I also have a second name, I guess. My name... My Polish name, which I saw a lot of people confuse in her proposal video, is Asha, which is just like a Polish nickname. So, like, our yes. my closest friends. We need, we need to family. explain that. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So, it is Jesse, Jesse and Joanna. Jesse and Joanna. And that is probably mm -hmm. one of the most commented things on our proposal video yeah. is why does he keep calling her Asha? And it's just my Polish nickname. Only my friends and, oh, my closest friends and my family call me Asha. So when we hang out in person, I never call her Joanna. No. It's always Asha, friends. But so, no, it's us, yeah. All right, let's it's been it. always us. Yes, yeah, Anyway, that. so I was, I obviously introduced myself as Joanna because I didn't know this person. He comes over, says hello. Nice to meet you. And on the raft, Jesse wanted to sit next to me, which was fine, whatever. There's a whole bunch of us. It must have been like 15 yep. of us on this raft. So <laughs> you're just really cute. <laughs> okay. And we were playing like games and stuff um, back on the campsite. I was always intentionally trying to make her my partner. Yeah. There's always a team captain, and I was chosen on your team every time. So hello. I was playing first with some of the guys, and then she came over. She was like, "Oh, let me get in on this." And I, to this day, have not seen her throw a frisbee. No, since that I don't trip. play frisbee. <laughs> but she was trying to impress I me. Don't. <laughs> the deets are out. The deets are out. Three of my friends came over, and they were like, "Well, what do you think of Griffin?" And I was like, "Oh, you know, like I think he's pretty cute. You know, I like him. He's nice." <laughs> So <laughs> I was I was starting to crush a little bit and it was I felt oh. like it was a little too early because I've only really known you for like a few hours but I was like he's so nice and so cute and yeah. 
Yeah, swept me off my feet. <laughs> you were just adorable. <laughs> in the first day we were talking about like our dreams and what our goals are, like in literally the first day. Mm -hmm. I remember all those super deep conversations and then yeah. they were all trying to match make us. Yeah, match make us. Match make but us. I'm pretty sure it was Morgan, Miranda, and Sierra that I was in the car with. That's probably I, I, who I, came I, th up to I think it was I think it was the three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Them three. Yeah, probably. So so uh, shout out to you guys. Shout out. Right. Um, shout but out. fast forward to the nighttime. Huge fire going and everybody was just kind of hanging out. Um, they were playing some music. It was very chill, very relaxed after dinner. Um, and I think you had mentioned something about, do you want to go talk or something like that? Walked over by the river <laughs> and we just like hung out, just you and me. And we just like talked and we made a bet. Or we was it rock paper scissors? Yeah, well, that yes. But there was music playing in the background. Yeah. There was music playing in the background, mm -hmm. and none of our friends could see us really. And I was just like, "Do you want to dance with me?" And it was just us two. Yeah. And so, it, and she was like, "Yes." And so we danced right there, which was really cute. It sounds really cheesy, but it was it was so it was cute. So it's gonna make nice. me tear up thinking about it. Yeah, and it but was like all the yeah. because it was so dark, you could see mm -hmm. all the stars and like. Yeah. That was like such a special moment for for us, and like yeah. obviously with the proposal, like that signif like all the lights signified kind of the lights, like how we met mm -hmm. with the whole dancing under the yes. stars. Yes, so. it was it was it awesome. was nice. Um, it was really yeah, nice. then we we did a bet. We we did a bet. I forgot what the alternative was, but it was like rock paper scissors. Yes. If I win, like you have to kiss me or something like that. And I I, I don't remember what the Classic alternative. Classic guy move. And it, it, she was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would have kept going until I won anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I won, and then that's how we had our first kiss. And which is yeah, on the first time we met, crazy. First trip. I would have never, never in my life would I kiss a boy on the first. This wasn't even a date. We met each other. Yeah. And yeah, it's crazy. Super, so super cute. That's uh, gonna be a great story for our kids one day. <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right, so we, and we've been brainstorming a lot about different ideas of things that we're gonna vlog, and we have like, this whole vision like board all set up of things that we're gonna do for you guys. But we wanna know from you, seriously, what do you wanna see us vlog? You wanna know more about us? You wanna see us try some challenges, go on uh, some adventures, down for anything. So yeah. comment that below, and we'd love for you to subscribe, hit the little notification tab, and like this video. Um, yeah, check us out. Peace, y'all. Bye, guys. Peace. <laughs> nice. <laughs>